How's it going, everybody? Well, the live stream told us that there, were, there was going to be a Myriad Celestia trailer for Fei Shao and a character demo. Those are coming out now, so here's the Myriad Celestia trailer. The arrow that seeks the stars. Okay. Those with no tail, no life, and nine faded deaths are without any choice but to push forward. Forward, beyond the grip of death, into the embrace of a new life. Forward, for the stars, light the path and nourish hope. Those who are entangled by twin veins of clashing fate, fated to battle without end, without any hope of respite. One vein is bestowed of wisdom, decisive like falling lightning, another vein fueled of fury, capable of rivaling an army, ten thousand foes. She is an arrow of the rainbow, with one arrow pointed at her prey and another pointed at herself. Ah! Due to recording arrangements, this video's audio will be in Japanese. We apologize for any inconvenience caused. I wonder if this has to do with the SAG Afro strike. It probably does, but there's no guarantees. I hope it's not because of the strike, and it's just because uh, they were unable to get a recording session in. But who knows? Oh, let's go back. We gotta put the subs on. Okay, let's see. Foxy and funeral. spirit. Mata Anohikari. Meteoric radiance again. I think it's really interesting she doesn't have a tail. Konoyada. This arrow. Nagareboshi Oikoseruka. Can it outpace a shooting star? Katsute. Atashtachi wa shokuryo to shte shinuka. Dies a little more than food. Slaves for war. Yep. Foxians were enslaved by the Borison before they joined the Zenjo Alliance. As long as you go a little faster. So as long as you keep moving forward, now I'm thinking about the Meet the Robinsons. I am groveling prey no more. She's definitely made a name for herself. Heaven and Earth remain un unchanged. The sky blue shatters stars. Just chuck an axe. There's her gun blades. Did she turn into a wolf? Is that what's happening here? Huh. Face this terror head on. Okay. Oh, there's still more. Thank you, no Kamio. It's no Hika. Kyo Funga Tashio no Mikomu. Demo. Kono Yajiru. Anata Yori Sakini. Kono Shinzo Tsuranuk. 
Okay, now let's uh, go back and take a look at stuff. I want to see some of that stuff from her early flashback days. Because I'm curious... Yeah, let's get this scene where her running away. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's look at the shadow real quick. Does she still not have a tail at this point in her past? It's hard to tell if that's her actual tail or if she has like a coat tail. Because she doesn't have a tail in this shot, I think. Or is that her tail? Yeah, she has a tail here. So when does she lose the tail? She doesn't have it here. So by the time she has this bow, she doesn't have a tail anymore. Just coattails here. I can't see from this angle. Or maybe that's just her cloak. Maybe she didn't. Maybe she never had a tail. Yeah, she doesn't have a tail here. When did she lose her tail? And why am I focusing on this so much more than anything else? And then we have this moon rage stuff that she's going on here. So, she has some sort of illness. I don't know much about that. And I guess she's a lycanthrope, I guess? The Borison seem to be werewolf people. And she seems to be infected with whatever the same blessing that the wolf people have is. She's got a mark on herself. And they, they call the, the Abundance the Plague Author. So, I wonder how she ended up cursed with this. Because it doesn't feel like it was explained here. This is just like how she's coping with it is the story that feels like it's being told here. Even to this point in the post credits where she talks about how one day she can't control it. She'll basically, the rainbow's arrow will pierce herself. Which was even mentioned again in the description. With one arrow pointed at her prey and another pointed at herself. Those with no tail... Which is just referencing Fei Xiao. No life and nine faded deaths. Oh, of course, forward. This was a very interesting story. There's not really much more I can add here, though. So, I'll leave it to you guys, the viewers. Is there something you think I missed here? Is there something that you think that you would like to elaborate further? Should I pull for Fei Xiao? Should I keep saving for Kafka because... Boy, do I need a Kafka for my D.O.T. team. Or a Black Swan, but I think Kafka's the better choice since I don't have a Black Swan already. I have, like, every D.O.T. unit except for Black Swan and Kafka, so I might as well pull for one of them. I could try for both, but I feel like the smarter choice would be pull for Kafka and then pull for her light cone. Uh, people are telling me that Fei Xiao is really, really good. But I'm not pulling. I have my priorities set up. I'm continuing to save. And Kafka's coming up on my list of characters that I would like to pull for. Kafka and Black Swan were the ones I was saving for, and I'm really annoyed that they're both going to be on Banner at the same time. But perhaps we'll get more info on Fei Xiao when her character demo comes out, and her character trailer comes out. I look forward to seeing you all when that video comes out. Until next time, look forward to seeing some of my other videos on the channel. My playthrough of 5.0 Genshin is going to be coming out soon. Let's keep an eye out for that. And I've ran out of things to say. So see you all next time. Bye-bye.